Hello and welcome to Monkey's Paper Plus a Craft Corner. Today we are going to go a little bit further into our storage episodes here by talking about embellishment storage and this is going to be with the Derice Bead Organizer Carry Case. Now this case is one of my favorite cases to carry and hold all my sequins, rhinestones, and any other embellishments. Some of the new little classic confetti, everything. Because you get a lot of compartments in it. And a lot of these other organizers, I feel like they're lacking in some of the storage capacity. But this one, you have a 52-piece set. It is a nice little kit. So I'm going to start with one that I have empty so I can show you the compartments and everything. Now you get a bunch of these big ones and a bunch of these little ones. Plus, you get two huge cases and also a spoon and some tweezers. Now, the reason why I love the variety of sizes is you'll have different sizes of embellishments. Not all of us have tiny embellishments. Not all of us have huge embellishments. Some of us need the variety. So this is great because you have the option of small or large. Or even the big ones for other things. And I'm going to show you what you can stick in those big ones to make use of that space also. So I lay it out like this because I like to see all my sequins in place. Because they show in their pictures how you can stack them on top of each other. But then that gives my visibility a little bit less. So I like being able to look down and say this is the sequin I need. And this is the rhinestone I need. All together it fits perfectly like this. And one of the cases I usually always have three of the little ones in it. But that is fine because I can still see what's in there. And it closes all really good. And it has two little locks on the top. And a nice little carry handle for carrying it. So if you did take it somewhere with you, you could carry it around. You can also use it for labeling too if you want to label your cases. Of course, there is no little feet on this one like the art bin ones. But it's not the outside bin that's important. It's the capacity inside. Because honestly, if you're like me and you have tons of these little sequins and rhinestones, you need it to be organized. And here is one opened, filled up to the brim. And you can see, I can see through these little cases and see exactly what's in these. And the other reason I love these is not just that it's clear on the top and you can see in, but also because when you open these up, you have such a wide mouth on this container that you can easily pick up a sequin. You could grab your pickup stick or whatever device you use to stick your embellishments right into the container and pick up a sequin. You can you don't have to shake them out on something and then try to stick them back in. I could stick it right in there with that and be totally fine. They're also very great for looking through an assorted sequin too and I'll show that later on how you can look through them a little bit better. And I just love that you can even fit the most biggest sequins in there. It doesn't have to be just tiny ones. And then if you have really tiny sequins, you can stick them in there too. And it's just fine. And it's a great way to store them and visually see them. So here I have that big case and I have my three little ones in there. But let me show you this big case. Now this has the same little lock system as the outer case. So you just snap those open. And what I like to do in these is when you have these little embellishments, like I have my little Hero Art Pearls and my Hero Hues Gems. And you can even cut some of your sheeted ones smaller and stick them in here also. And it's a great way to stick those self-adhesive ones. Because you know, we don't always have loose ones. Sometimes we have those adhesive ones. And that little large case is perfect for holding adhesive things. Or even glue dots if you want to carry your glue dots with you in there. So that way you can attach your sequins easier. And they all fit in very nicely into this case once you get these situated. There we go. And now I can stick the other one now that everything's placed. And that way you still have that visibility of seeing them. But they're also in a case. And you can keep it all together. And take it with you wherever you're going. Or just store it in your craft room. 
Now, I even have one for my perler beads. And sorry for the mess. I've got some that I just made that I need to put back in there. And I can see all my perler beads. And I've even labeled mine so that I know what the color is for future notice. And it's a great way. Because before I had them in these little plastic bags. And I have to say, sorting through plastic bags to find the color sequin you need or the color pearl or bead is so annoying. This is just a better option because you can visually see them. They're clean and organized and you can see what you have a lot of and what you don't have a lot of. Like I can say, okay, I have a lot of the purple. I don't have so much of the coffee brown. I don't have enough of the clear. Okay, these are my red ones. I have plenty of those. That is the luxury of this because then you know when you need to get more too especially if you have to order them, or in my case, I have to make them for these. So it's a great little cases. And I have like, I think six of these. Like here's one I have with all my cool tones and my multicolors. And I actually am missing a couple. So I, you know, I can take them out and I can put more in. But yeah, you can stack these. I have them stacked in a crate with all the different colors. And you can just stack them on top. You can label the handle if you want to put a label on it saying these are my cool sequins. These are my rhinestones. These are my pearl or bead enamel dots. Whatever makes it easy for you. But what's nice about it, like I said, is indeed the capacity. Now, majority of the ones I've seen on the market are 44 piece. And that's great. But when you have a lot of sequins and you have a lot of different sizes and a lot of rhinestones, these smaller capacity bead organizers just don't work. And I do like the fact that I can take one little thing out instead of taking a whole box and have it sitting on my counter. Like I could just take one of these and put them out and not put, put them back later. So that way I don't have to have this whole thing on my table. I can just have the colors I need on the table. And then I can file them back later when I'm ready. I can now file, oops, that's not the one I wanted, file these back into the ones they were in. But it is, it's a nice little thing. And I know Michael sells them and a couple of the other craft brands stores do. They are pretty easy to find. I even believe you can find them on Walmart and order them. So they're very easy to find, but it is a great little tool. Now, like I said, if you've got a multicolor like this and you want to sort to find a color, the wide mouth on this bin makes it so easy to look and say, oh, I want blue or, oh, I need that holographic or, oh, I need this light yellow. You can just pick the color you need and go with it. You don't have to shake all your sequins on the table and do it. One thing I do say, make sure you're snapped all the way before you put it away so you don't have any sequins escaping. Though I do have to say, once they're snapped, they're pretty good. Now, I wouldn't put glitter or anything crazy in it or embossing powder. This is a bead organizer, after all. It's made for something that's more solid and more has more width to it. Because I'm afraid your, your glitter would fall out definitely all over the place. all these and I got some of all different sizes so and that was one thing I did like about the assortment of sizes talking about sizes we have sometimes that we don't have large quantities of sequins like these I got my mixes in because well they come in small packages and we don't get a lot there's some that you have so much capacity that you need a bigger little case for so that is one of the reasons that I really love it because sometimes I don't get a big package. I'm going to take this. This I have like about, I think over 500 sequins in this bag and I still have room in this. Those big ones are actually pretty big. The little ones are actually a lot smaller. So you can fit like smaller quantities or something that's very tiny. And see, now I can see, look how much capacity you still have in this. So that's why I'm saying the big ones. I sometimes like the big ones when I have huge amounts. But in most cases, I do find myself using the little ones. 
So I'm going to stick this one in this empty case that I have just started to work putting more into. Like these are those little confetti sequins. Aren't those cool? Those fit in there nicely too. I can even put pearls, like the most teeny tiny three millimeter pearls. I even have some with two millimeter pearls in it and they hold nicely. But see, I don't need a large capacity case for this. I don't have a lot of them. Or even something small like this, where I have only three of these big ones. They fit in there perfectly. So it's not wasting space either, because you're buying just one size case. Like I said, large ones. You may only use your sheets in those. Or you might have such a huge capacity of sequins that you need the big one for it. So let's look at the little added extras in there. Now, they give you a little set of tweezers. They're nice metal tweezers. They're really good standard tweezers that you would use for picking up beads. I honestly don't use tweezers for my sequins. I use this little nifty thing, which is a pickup stick. And it's just easier because it's not trying to place a sequin that might slip and the tweezers, it's just easier. And then I give you a little spoon. Now the spoon is a metal colored plastic. I don't know what I'd ever use this for, but it's kind of a nice little spoon to have. I mean, it is a small little bead spoon, which really, I mean, if you're dealing with little tiny rhinestones or shaker elements, I guess that would be nice. But these are two things in the kit I usually don't use. I end up just putting them aside and filling this area with my sheets like I told you I did earlier. But like I said, you can fit a lot also in this one. So you really may not utilize the big ones for anything but your sheets. because those large square ones are very easy to fill and there's still a lot of room in it. In fact, I think I use more of the smalls than I do the bigs. The bigs I think to me are only really good for like I said large quantities or really big sequins. So definitely a great thing to have and you can switch them around. Like if you're going on a trip, let's just say and you're bringing sequins for a craft show or some sort of little fun craft event and you need to pack this, you could take some out from different containers and mix in the colors that you're in need for your craft day. Whether it's an affair or an art class or whatever. And you can mix and match it. Now, I, like I said, I do love the smalls more than I do the larges because honestly, Sometimes it's too much capacity. That's why I liked having that variety in there. Because I could fit probably about a thousand or more small sequins. And like 250 in there. I mean most kits that you buy things are, are like 250. Will fit in those small ones. Unless you have a really large sequin. And then of course those big ones come in extremely useful. But. It is nice to have both sizes, just in case with the variety of sequins and rhinestones you may have that you may need a bigger sizes for it. And that's one thing I did find with some of the other brands. They were one size. And I didn't like some of the folders because they got, looked floppy. This case is very heavy duty. It's going to hold up to abuse a lot more than some of those fabric ones that they have so that way I felt that my sequins would remain safe and I didn't have to worry about as much damage coming to it in the long term this will withstand a lot of stuff to it so great for traveling great for packing great for you know art shows art events so it's a wonderful wonderful organizing tool for your craft room and you can get multiples of these i they range anywhere from, I believe, $10 to $16 wherever you buy it. And you can store sequins, like even if you buy some from me. Put those in there. The little containers fit my size that I usually sell you guys. And if you buy larger quantities, you can use the larger ones. 
but it is great, a great tool to have. And I hope that you guys will consider this as you're shopping for them. So if you like this video, please check out the last video we uploaded, as well as one specially curated just for you. And like always, we welcome you to like, subscribe, and ring for notifications. But also make sure to check out our website as well as our Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook pages, and soon to be WordPress.